Hey guys, what's up? It's Two-Tailed Fox here at Wikia, and this is the Civilization Beyond Earth introduction for new players. Civilization Beyond Earth is the latest installment in the Civilization franchise. Uh, Sid Meier has created a series of games that give the player complete freedom over how they want to play their game. Civilization Beyond Earth is no exception to this. You land on an alien world, and you are able to explore the resources around you, and you can even vie for other sponsors for dominance on the planet's surface. The choices you make before you hit Planetfall allow you to further customise how you want the game to play. For example, you can choose what sponsor that you want to sponsor your journey and each of these sponsors gives a different bonus to how you play your game. You can also choose either for example an extra soldier or an extra worker for when you reach the planet to either give you say a more military advantage or a more economic advantage. There's something very magical about the games that Sid Meier creates. You know, there are games that you can say play for a couple of hours each day, there are then games that you play until it's four o'clock in the morning and Civilization Beyond Earth fits rather squarely into the second category. If you haven't played a Civilization game or if it's been several years since you've played a Civilization game then Civilization Beyond Earth is perfect to start off with. Hi everyone, this is Lele and I'm here to talk about Civilization Beyond Earth. So before you start playing the game, there's a few mechanics that you're going to want to be aware of as they can really have a major impact on your game. The first one is culture. Accruing points in cultures is going to expand your borders more quickly. In addition, it's also going to let you buy virtues and virtues are these little perks that you can have which give you extra bonuses to things like your overall health, production and things in that vein. Next, there's research. And research is going to sort of speed along your projects on the tech web. And the tech web is where you're going to go to unlock units, buildings, affinity points, basically everything you'll want to sort of develop will be found on the tech web. And next there's energy. And energy is essentially the uh, currency of civilization beyond Earth. So you're going to use it to buy new blocks of land or to buy units as well if you need to. So as well as these main three, there's a couple of other uh, little sort of mechanics that you want to be aware of. One of them is food. Without food, your cities aren't going to grow and if they sort of begin to starve, they're actually going to decrease. So you want to make sure that you're producing enough food. And in addition to this, there's also production. And production is what you're going to need to um, basically build anything. If you want to build a unit or build a building in your city, you're not going to be able to do it without production. Another interesting mechanic of Civilization Beyond Earth is their quest system. And the quest system is sort of something relatively new to the series and it allows you to choose what sort of benefits you're going to get from things like your land upgrades, as well as gives you an opportunity to go further down your affinity path. So now you know all of this, you're ready to start the game. Hey guys, this is Becker and I'm going to talk to you about the choices you'll be faced with on your very first turn of Civilization Beyond Earth. First off is going to be selecting your landing site. You'll want to choose a site that has a good balance of food and production. You also want any resource that you want a city to be able to work to be within three tiles of your chosen landing site. If you're having trouble locating any resource, you can turn on the resource icons by clicking the little eye in the minimap. You also want to be on the lookout for aliens. You want to decide early on if you want to antagonize them and maybe clear out their nests, or if you want to try and ignore them and maybe live in peace with them. Finally, be on the lookout for any strategic resources near you. You'll eventually want to research the technology that grants you access to them. If you chose to try and live in peace with the aliens, you might want to research ultrasonic fences to keep them away from your cities. Now you're ready to play your first turn of Civilization Beyond Earth. Good luck!